All right, so here we go. We are on our way at about uh, four o'clock on a Tuesday, and uh, we're in Detroit, and it's just uh, nothing but snarled traffic. Uh, one of the questions we had in the podcast this week is, what what don't you like about the RV lifestyle? And uh, this is it. This is what we don't like. It is the constant uh, stop and go traffic that you find around uh, most of our big cities. Well, this is Detroit, and uh, we expect it. We'll get it a little bit more as we hit Toledo, and then we'll have some clear running through uh, Ohio. But um, we're off in search of spring. Usually we don't have to search very hard to find spring. This has been an unusually mild winter, and it's 51 degrees outside right now in Michigan. Well, here we are in Toledo about an hour and a half later, and this is... This is one of the things I don't like about Toledo. I don't know if you can see it because the sun is so bright here, but it's under construction. Now we've been taking I-75 through Toledo for five years now, and it's been under construction the whole five years. It's like this further down at the very bottom of Ohio in Cincinnati. Again, for the last five years, it's under construction. Uh, you'll, you'll find these construction ends, you know, 20, 30 miles outside of Toledo, and then you've got relative uh, safe stretch all the way down to the border where you can you can drive without construction but man just to get south you got to drive through that all right enough complaints you got to find some fun stuff to do i enjoy driving through the heartland of ohio i think it's absolutely gorgeous the farmland the flat fields the beautiful sunset i like it Also likes it. This is Bo's favorite seat. He wishes he was sitting on his mother's lap, but uh, right now he kind of is in between us here, assuming the position. Bo, are you going on the road trip? Say hello to everybody. Well, he didn't stay down long. This is how Bo likes to go, sitting on his mother's lap, watching Ohio go by. Actually, he wants a seat. We have driven over 150 miles. We are at a rest area just a little south of Finley, Ohio, and it's time to stretch both legs as well as our legs. All right, it's time to eat, and uh, we're at a rest area. I prepared food at home. I have my salad all chopped up, ready to go. I've got hummus and a lot of different vegetables that I sliced at home. I've got some sparkling water. I love the sparkling water. I've got green beans. I've got chicken pot pie, low fat chicken pot pie. So we are going to have some vegetables, salad, green beans, and low fat chicken pot pie. This is one of the nice things about having a little motor home that you travel in. Everything that you need is right there. Jen just powered up the microwave, warmed up the meal, and um, we've, we're comfortable here. It's warm. We've got a television we can turn on and watch TV. We're in a rest area. We can actually spend the night here. Nobody would really give us any grief, but we're going to eat and um, then hit the road again. And uh, who knows where we'll spend the night. Well, it's about, uh, we're about 325 miles in. And it's uh, a little after 10 now, and we are in Kentucky along uh, US 71 headed towards Louisville. We're starting to think about where we want to spend the night. There are Walmarts ahead, there's a Cracker Barrel ahead, and if we go through, uh, through Louisville, there's a KOA. Um, we love driving this time of night because we got the road all to ourselves. A lot of people would say, well, why don't you just stop and watch TV? Well. We don't particularly watch a lot of TV. We did listen to an audio book after dinner, and we've been doing that for about three hours. And now it's uh, getting time to end the day, and the beauty is we can stay any place we want in our, uh, in our little road truck. Well, it's time to knock it off. It's about midnight, and we are south of Louisville on uh, I-65, and we're at a rest area. Uh, so you see it's jammed with trucks over in that end, and we found a spot right on the end. This is one of the rest areas they let you spend the night. And that's just what we're going to do. 
Bo is telling us it's time to go to bed. We've got the bed all made up. It looks like Bo is pretty comfy, and uh, this is it. We'll see everybody tomorrow.